to start. So they are going to be BSL classes for beginners uh, running from 6 p.m. to 6.45. They are going to be much smaller groups. So the plan is uh, we'll have somebody, it'll be Callum for the first, for the, that's the plan, and then you're going to break up into um, smaller groups. So hopefully groups of four of you, depends how many people turn up. So it should be you get a really good, intense practice and really embed those signs. And it's a very fun, relaxed way to study sign language. There's no pressure. It's not like an exam. It should be very chilled. And then we'll finish with some, uh, uh, with some BSL games just to make it fun and um, lighthearted. So that's the first aspect of our teaching program that we put in place this year. And these are all um, online. It doesn't say that on site, but they're all online on Zoom. Okay, so, um, so um, Jody, would you like to talk about our new initiative, which is the um, watch alongs? Yes. Um, so I am going to be running the uh, the watch alongs every Tuesday. Um, basically, the the idea behind it is, um, you know, kind of first and foremost, uh, a kind of nice social for the Sign Language Society every week. But also, um, I know that last year when I was doing my level one, I found it really useful to watch um, kind of quite uh, kind of easy watching um uh, BSL programs um, just to kind of uh, reinforce some of the things that I'd learned in my classes um, in a quite a kind of relaxed way. Um, so that's what we're kind of inviting you to do on Tuesdays. Um, the way it's going to run is that the, the kind of first five minutes or so we'll let people come in, we'll kind of wait for some people to come into the session. Um, then we're going to watch, um, as you can see on the on the screen, um, a, a small series called Small World, um, which is five episodes long, um, about half an hour each. Um, and it's about a group of friends uh, living together. Um, and then uh, after that, we'll maybe do kind of 10, 15 minutes and anybody can share any signs that they've learned uh, during the uh, program, anything that they kind of wanted to practice from the classes. Um, and uh, yeah, just a kind of uh, a sign language society focused uh, kind of social, which would be really good fun. Um, also to note, um, at UCL, there's going to be, uh, I think, in a couple of weeks' time, there's a um, like an environmental week, and we thought to kind of align with that um, in the watch along, we would we would watch a, um, a David Attenborough uh, program from the Seven Worlds One Planet series um and that would be shown via bbc website uh, bbc iplayer um and there is a bsl interpreter on the program um so it's kind of perfect really um it's a great series and the bsl interpreter um i don't know about seven worlds one planet but a lot of the, on a lot of the B uh, bbc programs is uh the uh, BSL teacher at UCL, which is quite exciting. I, I know I found that exciting when I started watching them. So, um, so yeah, we are really looking forward to seeing you there. Well, um, thanks very much, uh, Jodie, for that. So that's our first event coming up next week. So don't forget it. it's Tuesday at um, six o'clock. Okay. Um, the next um, thing that we've got really to explore um, aspects of deaf culture in more in depth this year is this um, deaf lecture series, which Kathy has been organising and leading on. So, um, Kathy, would you like to talk a bit more about it? Yeah, absolutely. So, like, in order to help you have a better understanding of BSL and deaf culture, um, we launched the BSL and deaf lecture series this year. So basically we invite some famous staff people or researchers or PhD students from UCL or outside of UCL or to share their research thoughts or experiences. Uh, and there's one like, um, talk given by one of our committee column in the next week, um, 15th October. Um, so like he will sharing about um, his experiences of being deaf and LGBT. 
And in November, now we um, got confirmed um, we will have a collaboration event with UCL Linguist Society. It's a lecture about BSL linguistics given by um, one of the research staff of UCL, Dr. Gabriela Hodge at um, 6 p.m., 16th November. And in the um, coming months, we will have more um, lectures um, on topics like deaf history, deaf culture, deaf arts, or like um, deaf awareness, deaf equality and justice, things like that. If you have any other like topic interest you, you can just talk to us and we will try to find some speakers. Yeah. Okay, then, um, thank you very much for that. So that is our new thing. And uh, I think it's very important that we look out for each other in this, this uh, society, so a nice, uh, friendly community. So, um, Jody, would you like to talk about your wellbeing welfare officer? Hi, yes. Um, so as it says on the screen, um, basically, if anybody has any concerns or would like some advice or or to kind of raise anything um, with regards to sign language society, um, I am able to signpost you in the in the kind of right direction to the right people um, or raise any concerns that you may have um, with the rest of the society. Oh, I should note anonymously. <laughs> well then, uh, thanks very much, Jodie, for that introduction. Just, okay. So, um, brand new for this year, we decided to make up everyone feel more connected and give people the opportunity to meet uh, more deaf people and more people interested in sign language. So um, this society, UCL Sign Language Society, has played a leading role in founding the Sign Language Society uh, UK network. Currently it's formed of about uh, 13 societies so far. I think the one that isn't on there is an extra sign language society. So the big plan is to have lots of you know UK events, big virtual events. So First thing we've got planned is a UK virtual gathering at some point in probably December or January. So just keep an eye on that, and it's just a great way to meet uh, new people. Yes, so talking about all the new things that we're doing this year as a society as we're growing, um, there are also opportunities for you to get involved if you feel inspired by our, our vision of you know spreading the knowledge and power of sign language, making the world a more inclusive, accessible place. For everybody so um, the, the form to express your interest will go live on Wednesday the 7th of October so don't miss that it's a great opportunity and I would like to particularly point you towards the um, you can apply you can express interest in any of them but particularly the uh, freshest rep positions are only open to first years and it's just a great way to shape the society and represent all the freshers and have real input into where this is like the direction of travel of the society. Yeah. So but it's not an opportunity you missed. So um, do you have any questions? Well, to kick off, I think I'll start with. So Karen, do you want to answer the things in the chat? Yep, that should be fine. Yep, bear with me one second. Let me get the chat open. So there was a question here. It was asking me if I know any other sign languages. I do know American Sign Language, um, which involves some conversation. So that I learned that through some conversation with some American deaf people. There are many, many deaf people in America. 
um, who will have a lot of stuff going on on social media, on YouTube as well. So I was learning through that as well. So I can understand a pretty much a basic level of ASL, which is American Sign Language. Next question. Will the classes be recorded? Um, because you'll be missing the Wednesday. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. Daniel, um, could you respond to that question? Will the classes be recorded or not? Um, there'll be YouTube videos covering some of the content that we'll be teaching in the weekly classes. Um, that will include things like finger spelling and practice. Uh, there'll be YouTube videos yeah. linked so, to that as well. Uh, with the sign language classes, so the idea is to, that the, there'll be short videos sum, summarising all the um, all the content, which Callum will produce. And thank you very much, uh, Callum. So those will be public, and then so. The, but then, if you can't make the Wednesday slot, let's say you, in, you know or in a different time zone or something like that. We may be looking at putting other practice um, groups at other times of the week that you know, may suit people better time. So if that is you, we'll probably be sending out a survey or something just to get an idea of peace when people are most um, free and we can see what we can do, if that makes And um, on the second thing, the people that already know um, British Sign Language. So there are a number of things you can, you, you can do. Uh, number one is if you feel um, what you want to help support teaching the class, so you can lead a breakout group or something like that. We're very keen to work with you. And potentially, if, we, if there's enough demand or capacity in the towards the end of October we may be running a at the level of um, pre BSL level two um, class for those that want to further develop their skills mm -hmm. so I hope that answers your question mm -hmm. So this is in relation to the question, um, bear with the interpreter just a second. And the information will be there on the Facebook page. So in terms of the, the lectures that we're going to be having on deaf culture, yes, all of that information will be available on Facebook. Daniel, you've already replied to the question about for, uh, events for people who already know some BSL, right? I think he, I think so, yes. So there was this, um, hmm. so we are hopefully uh, going to get enough people to join. And hopefully we will be able to deliver the pre-BSL level two to improve some practice for students who already have some BSL. So this society, is it for MA students? Maybe I picked that up wrong. The site is open to all, all students who are interested. They're all undergraduates, any other level really. And you can be in the UCL Sign Language Society as well, regardless, it's, it's part of this, well, connected to the student union. Do we have any more questions, guys? Brilliant. Anyone else, questions? Um, 
Okay then. Um, I don't. If you have any other questions, just put them in the coming week. Just put them in the uh, WhatsApp group and chat. But I think all of you should be in. So I think last thing to do before we finish is that everyone, please turn your cameras on, and then we can take a photo of us, of us all. That's the bar. Um, can somebody else take uh, the screenshots because uh, my, I don't think my display is working very well. Smile, everyone. Great. Well, um, thank you for coming and uh, see you next week on a Tuesday at six o'clock for our watch along. Bye.